Hi guys, it's Emma and I have got a bit of a different video for you today. Um, as you may know, if you've been watching my videos, I went to uh, Like Forever's uh, first scrapbook retreat and I'll be honest, I didn't know what to take. Um, <laughs> packing for this retreat was a bit of a struggle actually in some ways and then in others it was really easy as well so in preparation for going i uh, had a look at quite a few videos online and um i watched adele's from inky quill her packing for a crop uh video and quickly realized that my main problem was that i haven't got as much stuff as um quite a lot of scrappers out there to be able to pack as much as they were packing so this is kind of my how I travelled light <laughs> to a scrapbook crop or scrapbook retreat, whatever you want to call it. Um, I quickly realised when I got there as well that I had a lot less stuff than everyone else. So this thing here that's on my desk is actually an old antler vanity case that you would take uh, as sort of carry-on luggage on a plane. Um, I didn't want to go out and buy specific sort of scrapbooking or crafty travel storage because I don't know how often that I'm going to do this. Hopefully like forever, fingers crossed, I'm going to do another retreat and you know fingers crossed again that I will be able to go to that. Um, but I didn't want to invest in um, specialist storage so we say for something that I might not do very often uh, I remembered I had this packed away in another you know when you're putting suitcases away it's a case inside a case inside a case uh, so I remembered that this was in uh, a case that I'd completely forgotten about really and thought maybe it would be all right for taking tools and stuff obviously paper doesn't fit in here this isn't 12 by 12 um, I took my paper, I mean I haven't got that much stuff anyway, so I took all past kits and I took them in um, like the plastic bags that they come in when they are shipped to us in the kit. So all of my paper was in plastic bags and all of that went into like a tiny little suitcase that I put my paper trimmer in. But I didn't even use my paper trimmer while I was there. So this is what I used, um, put setting aside paper really. And I'm really sorry if this seems a bit shaky, um, but obviously I'm putting pressure on my desk because this is on here and I'm, and the gooseneck arm is sort of wobbling a little bit. So I hope it's not too bad and I really apologise if it is. Um, so yes, this is what I used and this carried everything that I needed. So let's get into it. I really like this because it is a hard case, it's a hard shell. Um, and this sat by my feet, basically. We, we were on round tables. Um, and we sort of shared between three of us. Um, so yeah, we were on round tables and there wasn't loads of space. So this sat at my feet and then I sort of dipped into it as I went, really. So what I really like about this is that it folds completely flat. If I pull these bits at the side these are just velcro and then it folds completely flat like that and i realize that that's oh no it is in frame um so this is kind of how i packed it i think if i take out the baby wipes because they were just sort of a loose last minute chuck in kind of thing um and i'll take the pencil case so uh i'll show you this pen well i'll show you this pencil case now so this pencil case was thrown in at the end and it's got all my washi in, basically. I don't have a lot of washi and this was fine just for holding holding it and it was so it wasn't all just loose in there. So that was chucked in as well. So hmm, how best to do this? Basically this case has got one big sort of stretchy pocket this side and two little pockets this side and then one in the middle and then the space. So we'll start with this side I think. 
so if I take these out all right so in these two separate pockets down the center I just put my wet glue because I thought well that fits quite nicely in there it's not going to fall over it's not going to get sort of um knocked over or leak or anything like that so that sat nicely in there my distressings um are in my tim holtz case and that fit perfectly into that pocket so that was fab i didn't have to worry about that at all and then this clear pencil case held my essentials i would say i would say <laughs> So in this pencil case, um, I've got my archival jet black ink. I have three different sized acrylic blocks because I knew I was going to do Amanda's shaker card um, class. So I had uh, archival ink and acrylic blocks. I have, this is also the pencil case that I use to take like my planner essentials around. So I've got two chalk inks, my Versa Magic. I didn't end up using those, but they were in there. They fit quite nicely. My water brush, my aquash brush, Pentel I think it is, is it? Yes, Pentel brush. Uh, that got a lot of use. It's actually empty of water now, but yeah. Um, my one and only Heidi Swap colour shine that's the ocean one the mini and it fits perfectly in there so I knew that again it would it wasn't going to leak anywhere I have a fold out I think I had this when I was at school uh, fold out 12 inch ruler so that came in handy my small pair of scissors those ones um, my clear wink of Stella brush pen because you know you never know when you need a little bit of glitter and you don't I mean stickles is fine but it really bugs me that I have to wait for it to dry so <laughs> I really like my clear wink of Stella a tiny Ikea pencil and I always carry a picture of my granddad he's always with me so that pencil case when all that stuff was inside went perfectly in there which of course it's not going to go in now so, should I put all that back in now? Yeah, why not? You can see how it went in then. So, this stood down the side. This small acrylic block fits just in the back, in that recess of that um, stamp pad. Those also went like that. If you watch, it won't go in the way I've put it in the first place now. Um, inks, brushes, ruler. Okay, and it just about fits. She says, "I knew it wouldn't go in the way I took it out." There we go. So that all went in there, and that, with a little bit of persuasion, persuasion goes just in that pocket. So, so far, I have my essential inking stuff. Um, my aquash brush, uh, wet glue and ink. Um, then I also have my Papermate flares. I'm loving using these at the moment. So they just rested on the top. And then foam tape and double sided tape. They just went on there as well. Um, in fact they went on top of the flare pens. I also took some empty packaging. In case I wanted to do ink smushing or use it as like a throwaway palette or whatever. So they rested on there. And then I also took these alphabet stamps, which these were really cheap from Hobbycraft. I think they were about £3 and they are reminiscent to me of like the Amy Tan ones. I didn't end up using them, but I just thought, just in case, why not put them in? Okay, so now we are going to go over to the other side. And this might be a little bit more tricky to see because of this pocket. This pocket is joined. So let's do what's in there first. So in here, I have my other distress inks that don't fit in my tin, but I keep them in like the little 
packaging that they came in just because it keeps them sturdy so just so they didn't fly all over the place over this side I put them in there I also have my giant scissors which is pretty much what I used for the weekend if I needed a trimmer there was a couple of communal trimmers that um, Nicola had taken along and I just went to use one of those so my trimmer didn't even make it out of my case uh, I also took my tiny attacher which has a strip of washi just down the handle so I could identify that it was mine but to be honest I didn't need to do that and uh, I only used it a few times but I had it just in case and that was the main thing and I also took along my two favourite roller stamps so I've got the Maggie Holmes shine one and the uh, October afternoon catchphrase stamp set so I had two roller stamps and obviously I had my ink in my pencil case so I've just popped some of those back in see I quite liked that this was all organised as well I knew where everything was okay so this side I have photos obviously I went to Boot just before and um, printed off a load of photos so, that I could use I also grabbed this out of my drawer so this is just a bag with all odds and ends in bits from kits that I haven't used. There are pieces in there from a rack that Claudia from uh, Claudia Van R, uh, she sent me. So that went in and I did use a few bits from there. I also put in my Amy Tangerine Finders Keeper stamp, which again Claudia sent me in that rack. So that went in as well. I really like... Um, the hearts and the XOs and the plus signs just for like uh, scattering a little bit. I did use the heart actually on one of the layouts. Have another roll of double sided tape and then the back pocket. This back pocket perfectly fit my watercolour set. I really did use this and this was, um, it's great because it's lightweight, it's that really cheap artist loft one, I got it from Hobbycraft for like £5, I hope this is all still in frame and it fits perfectly just in there, there, or it would. Um, I also picked up, this was uh, upon leaving, I picked up loads of paper towels, Missy Wooden, you'd be proud, um, just for mixed media th stuff, so that fits perfectly in the back there so we're almost done you can see I really didn't take much but I didn't miss anything if that makes sense I think the only thing that I would have taken that I didn't um, was my gesso and the only reason I didn't take it is because it's in this huge pot and I didn't have time to if I thought ahead I would have decanted some of it into a smaller container um, but I didn't want to take the whole pot so I didn't bother but to be honest I didn't miss it and the ladies at the, at the retreat were so so sweet and if I'd wanted to then I could have used some of theirs so I'd, I really it didn't bother me um, so yeah my washi tape like I showed you earlier this is just an old animal pencil case and all my washi is in here. I also have a pencil in here as well as a little Tipex micro tape because you never know. Um, and all of that just zipped up. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reattach. Hmm, she says. Okay so I'll start to zip it up. There we go. I'll start to zip it up. Sorry if this, this is major shakage now, and I do apologise. But can you see, I mean, some of the ladies at the retreat, this is what made me realise that I really don't have as much of a stash. Some of the ladies had done what Adele did and chucked their whole rascog in their car. Um, I've got a rascog. Uh, I had it for Christmas. I built it this week. No last week <laughs> and it's still sort of half empty which is really bad um so yeah okay so i've started to do this up i've done the velcro back up and these my washi tape just sat in that gap the baby wipes sat in that gap and the whole thing 
just zips up like that. And it's got a little carry case and all of my papers, like I said, were in the plastic bags and they went into a tiny little suitcase that just because this wasn't big enough to hold 12 by 12. If it was big enough to hold 12 by 12, um, bet you I would have got everything in here. Um, but yeah, so that is how I pack light for a crop or for a retreat. I had all the tools that I needed. I took my white cardstock and papers separately and that was it. I didn't, I didn't miss anything. Um, like I said, the trimmer didn't make it out of my suitcase because uh, there was communal ones there and the only thing that I would have taken would be gesso and I would have decanted that into a smaller container but I didn't have time. So that is everything that I needed and I was more than happy. So hopefully if you're like me and don't have a lot of stash or even if you do have loads of stash but just want to be able to take the bare minimum Here's my little rundown tick list. Double sided tape, wet glue, foam tape, they're your three adhesives, that's all you need, okay? Inks, I like distress inks because they're versatile. You can stamp with them, okay, you have to stamp twice over the same spot really if you want a solid sort of colour, but um, they're versatile, you can use them as watercolour if you want to as well. So distress inks. I also took obviously my acrylic blocks and um, archival, so that's a waterproof ink. So that's inks and glues covered. Scissors, I took a big pair, my giant pair, and a small pair for sort of detail cutting, but I didn't really need those. Um, what else did I take? Baby wipes, just handy to clean up mess. Um, watercolours, I took a watercolour palette, not I could have got away with not taking that if I had my distress inks, which I did, but you know, it fit in that po pocket sort of perfectly. Um, pens, if you like to journal, or if uh, I also took my pl planner along with me, I think, but I didn't end up using that, so it didn't really make a difference. But the pens came in handy. Um, and what else would be my essentials? Scraps. I had that little bag of odds and ends and scraps and stuff that I could have dipped into and I did dip into actually um and that is pretty much it that's all I need uh, and then obviously paper and white card but like I said paper was all in these 12 by 12 bags and white card is just in those so basically all I took was this and a couple of bags of paper and white card and that's it done and even to me saying it, it seems like a lot, but at the retreat, it really wasn't a lot compared to some people and I envy the way they managed to pack, I really do. Um, but I was quite happy with what I managed to take and if I was to go again, I think I would do exactly the same and pack it all in here because it was less to worry about. I just had it by my feet, dipped in and out when I wanted to. When I'd finished the layout, I cleared away again and then just got out bits as I needed them and it worked perfectly for me. So I hope that has been a help to you. Um, let me know in the comments below how you pack for a retreat. Uh, if there was anything that I missed out that you thought, geez, Emma, you really should have taken that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. This worked really well and I was really happy with it. And like I said, I would do the same again. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you soon. Bye.